Hi guys, it's Shweta here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about the most most common asked question about eligibility letter. So today's topic is eligibility letter which a lot of people asked me and then that we are going to talk about that. So let's begin. So eligibility letter, what is it? It is only the certificate after you give your DHA exam you'll get the certificate that is eligibility letter which will proceed you to do your job and then you'll get your RN assistant nurse whatever you your position is physiotherapist or pharmacist or whatever you will get that eligibility letter and then only you'll be registered with the DHA once you will get that letter that is the certificate and then you'll go to your company or hospital or whatever the field and then you'll get that registration after you join them they are the one to convert your letter to the license i hope now you get it what is that okay and the next thing how you get this eligibility letter once you do your dh exam that uh, that you know about this how many times you can give you know this right you you can give three times dha exam in your whole life after you if you are failing three times if you failed your dh exam then you cannot give more exams you are not eligible more so uh, after the dha exam you'll get eligibility letter within it's like within 14 working days so it doesn't include public holidays it doesn't include friday and saturday it will just uh, be the working days so um once you're done with your dh exam you'll get your eligibility letter sometimes it's early sometimes it's a little bit later uh, these days it's a little bit late because of these pandemic you you guys know about this yeah so i uh, just uh, what you need to do if you are not getting it after 14 days also you just email them at your at their official email address and you can also call them which is toll free number yeah got it so once you get the eligibility letter you have one year of validity of that letter once you get it you have to find the job within one year and you have to convert that letter to uh, license otherwise it will be expired again you have to go for a dha exam and uh, you have to do your exam after that only you'll get the letter and then that's it so um, dha license once you get it you have to renew it every year so that uh, every year renovation it will be helped by your own company or hospital they are the one responsible for doing this but uh, you you will have the cbt classes for that uh, obviously you have to go for the classes yeah so uh next thing is i want to talk about dha exam for that i have told you you have to do your data flow at the first after you complete your data flow only you can do your dha exam for which you have to select uh, correct date and the place of the exam center you cannot do it online sitting at home you have to go to the center with your valid passport and then uh, you you can give your exams dha exams so so the next video i'm thinking about to talk about the dha exam which will be uh, helpful for the new people who are uh, planning or who are thinking of appearing for the dha exam so next we will talk about that so a lot of people asked me about this dha questions a lot of questions and then i try to answer each of them for those whom i haven't answered yet don't be sad i'll be answering you soon i'll try to get you there people are asking me the same questions again and again in comments which i would like to tell you guys that go to this link and you go to my educational videos i have made a lot and lot of videos till now which in which i have explained now everything i think i haven't missed anything so you just watch that video uh, nicely patience be patient and watch that video i have explained it everything there so you'll get your answer there okay so just don't forget to watch all the dha related videos you'll get your answer there only if you haven't followed me on instagram follow now so that you can get more updates about a lot of uh, new videos uh, after watching that video still you have different questions uh, which is not included there you just message me on instagram and comment me below i will definitely help you with your answer so if you are new and you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe now and wait for the next video which will be on dha exam for the nurses and i hope i hope this short video helped you to know about the 
eligibility letter in perfect way so thank you so much for watching i hope to see you soon in next video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my video and uh, hope to see you soon in the next video bye bye